Okay, now to the latest on the severe weather alert coverage. Not an easy ride into work for uh, us early risers, really early risers. Michelle joining us now with more on uh, how much rain is going to fall today. This wind that's on its way. So the potential for some uh, damage to be caused from this uh, nor'easter. Michelle, what's the latest? Yeah, so the rain is going to be coming down heavy at times. Actually more concerned about the wind threat with this storm, though. If we take a look right now at the radar for the morning commute, scattered showers with embedded downpours. We've been dealing with that overnight, even had some thunderstorms. Right now, the heaviest of the rain is up across northern Rhode Island. So if you're traveling along 295 and over the border into uh, Douglas, Massachusetts, and southern Worcester County, you are going to be dealing with some of that very heavy rainfall, and that'll lead to localized street and poor drainage flooding. So we've actually got two areas of low pressure on our weather maps right now. One over New Jersey, another out over the ocean. These two will merge. This will become the dominant system here. It'll rapidly strengthen through the daytime uh, and come close. with a name, a name storm. So our threat tracker for today, we're going to have it in the medium threat level. Highest impacts from this storm tonight into early Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, gradually subsiding winds and the rain will be tapering off too. Right now, the winds out of the north and northeast, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, Providence into Smithfield. Winds will be increasing through the day. Plan on some off and on rainfall. You'll see some lulls at times, but when it comes down, it comes down heavy. And that could impact your travel for your morning commute. Temperature wise, it's pretty mild out there. 60, in fact, to begin the day in Newport, 62 in New Bedford, 57 in Providence, and 54 degrees in Smithfield. So some impacts this morning with some scattered downpours. Higher impacts, though, by the evening commute. It's around the time of the evening commute where the winds will be strong enough to lead to the risk of at least some isolated power outages and wind damage by that point. Let's walk you through the forecast. This is 9 a.m. So you can see scattered showers and downpours very heavy rain to the west of us. For our area, the impacts continue to increase into the afternoon and evening with heavy rainfall filling in. This is 5 o'clock in the evening. And this is the height of the storm here, 8 o'clock in the evening area of low pressure. Just near or southeast of Nantucket will actually uh, pinwheel a little bit to the west and brush the coastline through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning before it finally departs. So the rainfall amounts from this will be around two to four inches of rain with some isolated higher totals. Notice how the winds increase through the day. So by lunchtime, we're gusting to 30. By the evening commute, gusts 35 to 40. And by overnight tonight, potential for some gusts over 50 miles per hour. On the high end, right along the immediate shoreline, could get a few gusts that top even 60 miles per hour. Fully leaved trees, these strong winds, we are looking at the threat of power outages. Most of us end up between about 50 and 60 mile per hour for our peak wind gusts. Then the north and west winds a little bit lighter. So very stormy overnight tonight. Temperatures falling into the lower 50s with damaging wind gusts. Very strong winds for tomorrow morning's commute. And then those winds gradually subsiding through the day. The rain will be tapering off as we head into the afternoon and evening too. So here's that seven day forecast. Lower 60s for today. A cool and cloudy day tomorrow. Winds still very active near steady temperatures through the day. Breezy and cool on Thursday. Yeah, there's another system that's going to be impacting our area at the end of the week and early weekend does not look to be as powerful as the one we're dealing with over the next uh, 36 hours, though.